Well, in this video, I'll show you how to run a reliability analysis using Zamovi software. First, let me import the data set. Um, so here I have a construct called job satisfaction that is measured using three items JS1, JS2, JS3. Similarly, family satisfaction is measured using FS1, FS2, FS3. For these two constructs, I'll show you how to estimate the Cronbach alpha values using this uh, Zamovi software. You go to this factor menu and then click reliability analysis. Here you just include the items associated with your construct. So basically I have measured my job satisfaction using these three items. You just include them over here. You will be able to get the Cronbach alpha value. If you need this McDonald Omega, you can also estimate this. In confirmatory fact analysis, we use this McDonald Omega. And you can also ask the system to produce the Cronbach alpha value if item is deleted. Suppose if I remove this uh, item JS3, I'll get 0.855 as a Cronbach alpha value. So that's the way how you can uh, infer this particular result. I, I'm uh, pretty much satisfied with the Cronbach alpha value, so I don't want to remove any items. You can also ask for the mean standard deviation and then item rest correlation for your uh, set of items. That is also possible. And uh, um, if you have any reverse uh, scaled items, only that particular item can be included here. That provision is also available here. If you want to save the mean score or some score in your uh, uh, analysis, I mean in your data set, even that can be done here. That is also possible. So this is the way how you can do the Cronbach alpha value estimation for job satisfaction. Now quickly I'll show you the same thing for family satisfaction. So you just include FS1, FS2, FS3 over here. You will be able to get the entire outputs on the right hand side window. Here I am getting 0.965 as a Cronbach alpha value. According to psychometric properties book by Nunali citation is concerned, if your Cronbach alpha value is above 0.7 means you can uh, uh, conclude that we have uh, a sufficient uh, I mean internal consistency in terms of your data is concerned. So that is the way how we can make the conclusion. Thank you.